Welcome back to the channel everyone, my name is Fabio, and for today's quick tip we're going to be looking at a trick to help you get the most out of your layers when animating in Sketchbook. And I've always said one of the main uh, downsides to using Sketchbook is you only have basically two layers to animate. So you only have the midground and the foreground, so it, you're very, very limited. So right now I have my rough line work on my midground layer. And I usually like to do my finish line work on my foreground layer. So the problem is, this piece still needs a lot of work and it's not ready to be tied down yet. But I have no more layers, so what do I do? So I can go on my midground, I'll press images, adjust, hue saturation, and then I bring the lightness higher, right? So it fades out my midground. I'm still on the midground layer, but now I can go in, maybe with a little darker color, and I can uh, adjust my rough, my rough work even more without wasting a layer. So say I don't like how the head's looking, I can change the head, I can change the nose and the eyes, right? Maybe the bend of the neck. I can do all these things and I'm still only on the mid-ground layer. I can go images, adjust and increase the lightness again. See how that works? Now I have my previous work is even lighter and it's slowly fading out so I can kind of replace it with my new work. This is what I do in the blocking stages of my keyframes because I can always work on that one layer. I don't waste my foreground layer, but it gives me the freedom to make mistakes and really uh, experiment with more poses or whatever. So that's the tip for today. Hopefully it helps you working with the limited layers in Sketchbook. So I'm going to finish this piece and I'll see everyone in the next video.